this is the frugal gardener and what you're looking at is a work in progress i'm in transition and as usual most of my garden is looking like a hot mess but i have a reason i have an excuse every spring i give myself goal and this one is an ambitious goal i am going to attempt to double the harvest from previous years. It's not gonna be willy-nilly, it's, I have a, a plan laid out and um, part of that is going to involve going vertical. This is an old screen from a air conditioning unit that I used last year. And basically I wedged it in between these blocks here, these bricks. And I'm gonna take these old um, logs here and lay them down so that I can put these three pots on top of those and we'll go from there. The second method I'm going to use is something called intercropping, where I'm going to plant two crops in each of these, two vegetables in each of these, maybe three, but right now I'm going for two. And in order to achieve my goal of a greater harvest, I had to do something that I don't like doing in the garden, which is I had to spend a few dollars. I knew early on I was going to do this, so I poured this back in February. If you follow my channel, you know I don't like buying garden equipment in season. So this is a decent sized pot. It cost me $19 back in February. So the other thing I needed was these rods here. I'm not going to use all of these. These will be around for a couple of years before I use them all. And basically. The setup is going to be the pots, like I said, will go up higher. They'll be off the ground. And then I'm going to use these to stabilize this here. And this is going to be my trellis. And basically what I'm going to do is grow. Well, I know corn is going in this one. Not sure what I'm going to put in these two yet. But I know that I'm going to be growing cantaloupe. So I'm going to use this as a starter. I'm going to start these today. It is mid-April. And then I will transplant these into these two containers here. So time for me to get started. And now we're all set. Basically, in order to stabilize this new trellis, I used old twist ties from sandwich bags and bread wrappers and I made use of these little holes on the end and I did that all the way to the top so it's pretty sturdy now it's pretty stable it's stable on the bottom because the bricks are holding it in place and I added the new rods on the inside and as I said earlier I propped it up with the old logs that I had from um, from my fireplace well from my firewood now basically what I'm going to do is fill this this is old soil I'm going to have to amend this soil obviously and I'm going to have to add more soil once this gets full and the weather warms up then the cantaloupes uh, seeds will have germinated I can add those, go up the trellis, and whatever else I put in here, I don't know, I'm thinking about squash. I have to check and see uh, if it's compatible, but I'm definitely gonna add something else in here. Maybe peppers, not exactly sure yet. You get the idea. This is a way that I can increase the yield in my garden without adding more space so between the larger pots and the um, intercropping this is just part of what I'm going to do obviously I'm going to have to make some more adjustments to the rest of the garden but once again you get the idea this is the frugal gardener thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day Post your questions and comments below. Please subscribe, tell your friends. Remember, when you grow your own food, 
you'll always know where it comes from. Have a great day.